Ginny, no seconds on dessert for Jeff and Sandra tonight. Hello, huge movie fanatic Nate, stopping on by, once again coming at you for a Friday the 13th retro showcasing video. Today I'm coming at you to showcase the Friday the 13th Part 2 novelization from the year of 1988. For those of you who are unaware, I already did a showcasing video for the novelization of the first movie. That book came out a year prior in 1987 and was written by Simon Hawk. As you can see, this novelization a year later in 1988 was also penned by Simon Hawk, based on the screenplay written by Ron Kurz, based on characters created by Victor Miller. On the top here we've got when the screaming rises and the blood flows, it's time to fear again. And just like with the novelization from the first film, we've got Signet distributing this title. $3.95 in Canada and $2.95 in the U.S. I acquired this novelization probably in 2011 or 2012. I initially got the first novelization, read that whole thing, loved it, and then I found an auction on eBay that had both the novelizations for the first two movies. I'm like, damn it, too bad I didn't find that listing before I found the one just for the first book. But uh, I can't imagine, you know, these things weren't going for nearly as much as they're going for now. You know, it, it's hard to even imagine this being possible nowadays, but I probably got the novelizations on that second eBay auction for the first two books. For Friday the 13th, probably for, I, I can't imagine it'd be much over 50 or $60, you know, before the shipping. Just like with the novelization of the first film, I've read this one in its entirety and is very, very fun for a Friday the 13th fan. Taking a look at the back cover, we've got Strange Bedfellows. Vicky didn't want to disturb Jeff and Sandra. She had heard the vigorous sounds coming from their bedroom and knew they must be lying exhausted in each other's arms by now. But she had to see them. She had to warn them what was happening here at Crystal Lake. As thunder crashed and lightning flashed, timidly she opened the bedroom door and looked inside. The sheets were pulled over two figures lying on the bed. Sandra? Vicky whispered. Then the sheet was thrown back, and a hooded figure sat up, and Vicky screamed and screamed and screamed. So I'm looking closer at the publisher's note here on the bottom here. It says, first printing, February 1988. So I'm definitely glad I did a lot of my Friday the 13th eBaying in like 2011, 2012. I got you know, the posters for three, four, and five, and I got a bunch of lobby cards and obviously novelizations, things like that off eBay in 2011, 2012-ish, around that time. I'm definitely glad I was doing that back then because, you know, in the years that have gone by since then, the cost of this stuff has all dramatically gone up. I think a lot more people since then have gotten into the franchise, which is understandable because it's just such an awesome freaking franchise. <laughs> Even though they came out with kind of a dumb voice for some reason, I'm 100% sincere. Friday the 13th is hands down my favorite franchise of all time. Maybe you can see that, maybe you can't, based on my surroundings. At any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed this brief showcasing. Thanks a lot for watching, and as always, we'll catch you on the next video.